boys and girls, it's Ms. Schmidt. Last week, Mr. Swafford introduced you to the wonderful world of farms, where you learned the names of farm animals, you learned the names of the baby animals and where they live and how they have the same needs as pets and wild animals. This week, our lesson is, where are the farm animals? You're gonna use the vocabulary that you learned last week and positional words to tell us where the farm animals are. What's a positional word? I'm gonna tell you. First, let's read our learning target. I can identify positional words and use them in speaking and writing to tell the location of a farm animal. So what is a positional word? It's just a special word that tells the location or where something is. For example, the chicks. Look at the picture. Where are the chicks? The chicks are beside the hen. Beside tells us where the chicks are. They are next to their mom. Beside is just another word for next to. What other positional words do you already know and already use? Think about where you are right now. You are inside your house. Maybe you are on the couch. Maybe you are in the bedroom. Maybe you are on the floor. All of those are positional words that tell where. Let's listen to Jack Hartman sing about positional words. You're gonna see farm animals, you're gonna see the positional words, and he puts them all together. Let's go down to the farm and see where all the animals are. Look all around and see what we see. Sing all together and have fun with me. There's a rooster on the barn above my head, above my head, above my head. There's a cat on the grass below my feet, below my feet, below my feet. There's a dog digging dirt in front of me, in front of me, in front of me. There's a cow eating grass in back of me, in back of me, in back of me. And there's a pig in the mud on the left, on the left, on the left. There's a goat in the pen on the right, on the right, on the right. Let's go down to the farm and see where all chickens inside the coop inside the coop inside the coop there's a hungry fox outside the coop outside the coop outside the coop there's a shining sun up in the sky up in the sky up in the sky there's lots of fish down in the pond down in the pond in the pond there's a horse i'm riding between my legs between my legs between my legs there's so many animals all around all around all around let's go down to the farm and see where all the animals are there's a rooster above my
positional words did you hear Jack Hartman sing about? I heard above, I heard below, I heard in between. What did you guys hear? I'm gonna introduce you to some of the positional words that we are gonna expect you guys to learn and use in this unit. Above. The bird is above the tree stump. So above is just another word for on top. Can you put your hands above your head? What else is above your head? Look up. I have a light above my head. What's above your head? You may have a light. You may have a ceiling fan. You definitely have a ceiling above your head. Below. The bird is below the cloud. Below is another word for under. Do you have anything below you? Look down, what do you see? I have a floor below me. Beside. The bird is beside the tree. Beside is another word for next to. We learned that with the hen and the chicks. So what's next to you? What's beside you? Turn to their side. What do you see? Is anyone sitting beside you? In front of. The bird is in front of the tree. What do you have in front of you? You may have a computer or a TV or a phone. And I'm in front of you. Behind. The bird is behind the tree. Behind is another word for in back. What's behind you? Turn around, take a look. I have a clock behind me. And between. The bird is between the trees. How can you show the word between? Well, I have a pencil between me and you. All right, now let's use our animal vocabulary and our positional words to answer the question, where are the farm animals? So in this picture, can you tell me, where is the cow? Behind, yes. The cow is behind the fence. Where is the chicken? Above. The chicken is above the pig. Where is the horse? Between, yes. The horse is between the sheep and the pigs. Or you could say the horse is between the fence. Where is the cow? You guys will know this one. In front of. The cow's being the line leader. The cow is in front of the pig. Here's another one. Where is the pig? Beside. The pig is beside the fence. Or you could say the pig is beside the sheep. Now I got the chance to go to a goat farm a couple years ago. And I took some pictures and I want to show you guys the pictures of the animals and have you answer with your positional words where they are. Where is the goat? The goat is behind the fence. He was a really friendly goat and he wanted me to pet him. So I did. Where is the goose? The goose is in the pool. He had so much fun in there, but boy, did he make a mess. Where is the pig? The pig is in front of the tunnel. What do you think that tunnel is for? Yes, it's a shelter. He uses the tunnel when the sun gets too hot or it starts to rain. Where is the rooster? Now look carefully at this picture. Where is that rooster? 
The rooster is on top of the pig. Look at him. He's just standing on top of the pig and the pig doesn't seem to care. He's sleeping. Silly rooster. All right, now let's read a book that uses positional words titled On the Farm. This is a level B book, so you will be able to read it and I'll help you with the tricky words. There's actually just two positional words in this book and you already know them and know how to read them. I've highlighted them in yellow, so pay attention when you see it on the page. I'm going to get my pointer to help read. You use your pointing finger. A dog is in a house. Your turn. A cow is in a barn. Your turn. Good. A pig is in the mud. Your turn. A chicken is in the hay. Your turn. A goat is in a field. Your turn. That one's kind of tricky. A duck is on a pond. Your turn. A sheep is on a hill. Your turn. And the last page, animals are on a farm. Your turn. Good. What were the two positional words you read over and over again? In and on. And those are words you already know. All right, here is one last practice before you are off and working on your own. Can you tell me who is the pig between? Yes, the pig is between the sheep and the cow. Good. Where is the chicken? Yes, the chicken is in front of the barn. One more. Beside. Who is the horse beside? Yes, the horse is beside the cow. All right, now it's your turn to show us your understanding of positional words. You're gonna pick one of the sentences below to write and illustrate. Number one. The cow is beside the horse and the chick is in front of the fence. So you would have to draw the cow beside the horse and a chick in front of a fence. Number two, the farmer is behind the tractor and the goose is above the, pond, the pond. So you would need to draw the farmer behind a tractor and the goose above the pond. Number three, the goat is below the tree and the piglet is between the barn and the mud puddle. You would have to draw a goat below a tree and a piglet between a barn and a mud puddle. Here is my example. I picked a completely different sentence so that you guys wouldn't use mine. My sentence says, the sheep is in front of the fence and the goose is beside the tractor. You will also write your sentence and highlight the positional words just like I did. Then you're going to draw and label the picture. I labeled barn, fence, sheep, tractor, and goose. 
Then you're going to post a picture of your work. And as always, extra dojo points if you make a video reading your sentence to us and explaining your picture. Good luck, guys. We can't wait to see what you come up with.